What's going on, guys? Been a while since I've been out here. This is all new rock jetties. That stretch over there used to exist, but this is all new. It's about a mile and a half to the other inlet. We're gonna fish around, looking for some flounder. Might be some reds cruising around. There's some small Spanish mackerel busting up all over out here, everywhere. Caught a few of those earlier. Got some Jack Craval starting to show up. Straight out that way is the gulf, so you just really never know what you're gonna end up with. But we're gonna work around these rocks, see what we can come up with. That's a fish. Mm. Yeah, feels like a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Man, that didn't take long, did it? Ooh, we got him. We got him. These flounder are funny. When you rip them up real fast, they get like the twitches, the shakes. <laughs> To him, good, didn't I? There you go, boom! All right, we got some good ice. Put this guy on ice. Easy, easy. We'll get back to it. It's a net tide, so we don't really have a strong tidal coefficient. I don't know if the fishing is going to be the greatest. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, is that him? Oh my god, ripped his lips off. That's a pretty good sized white trout. There's a thump. Oh my God, what a good thump. Something spooked him. They're little small ones. That ain't a small one. Oh man. Oh my God. What is that? Uh, that's not a flounder. It's probably a red. rocks. Don't go in those rocks. Yeah, that's got to be a red, right? Oh yeah. Yep, big bull red.
he was chasing bait. I had croakers nibbling on the tail, and I think he was after those. Because I was feeling some small pecks, and then this guy nailed it. Kind of horsing on him a little bit. Come on up, come on up. Go on those rocks. Come here. <clears throat> kind of thumbing the spool and pulling him back. I don't want him in those rocks. The big cluster's over there, but they they got a couple scattered away from the cluster, so I don't want to get snagged up. Oh yeah, big bull. He's got, a, got some shoulders on him. I just seen that head come up. That dude's got some shoulders on him. That is a big red. Let me back up. Oh man, look at that. That hook just fell out. Barely had him hooked. Oh. Boom. Big old thick red. Pulling drag this morning. Look at the head on that joker. He's got some shoulders on him, man. Nice solid red. We're gonna get him back in the water. Oh, we're gonna get this big joker back in the water. He's got some shoulders on him, man. Big, thick red. They put these little brakes in the jetties. These are great areas to stop and target and focus on. We don't really have much of a tidal coefficient right now, but if we did, current would just be flowing through here, stirring up bait. Predator fish hone in on areas like that. You can see how fast we're moving along these rocks. That wind's kind of pushing us. It's gonna be a pain on the way back. I didn't bring the motor today, but that's all right. Looks like there's a big point coming up. I'll probably slow down and focus on that a little bit more than just power casting on around. Usually big points that jut way out like that produce a lot of fish. Oh, that's a good fish right there. Oh my God, that flounder just jumped out of the water. That was crazy. He did not want to be hooked. Oh, we got him, we got him. That dude flew up out of the water. Another solid flounder. Not very long, but really thick. He jumped up out of the water like a bass when I set the hook on him. These jetties are producing, for that being a new structure, these fish are honing in on it pretty quick. Normally new structures don't produce very well, but this is working out pretty good. <laughs> Looking on the map, this second half looked like it was a lot deeper. I think it would be pretty good, but it looks like they're doing some dredging up ahead, so I don't know how far we're gonna be able to go before the water gets real dirty. We'll go up a little ways and then turn it back around, start working back the other way. 
Well guys, we made it to the next inlet over. We worked all the way along these rocks into this next inlet. The water's a lot dirtier over here. They're over here doing some dredging. I would say if they weren't dredging, this would be a great place though. We're still gonna fish it for a little bit since we came all this way. We're probably gonna turn around, start fishing our way back. These tugboats are trying to park this cargo ship. That's quite the evolution there, isn't it? If I could tune up channel four, I could probably hear what they're saying. Well, I was trying to tune up and listen to these guys moving that ship around, but it sounds like the Coast Guard's having a aids and navigation failure they're trying to settle. Small jacks just chasing bait everywhere around here. What is that? Looks like a shark. It was a shark. I landed it right on him. We've made it fully into the other channel now. The current's starting to move a little bit, so I'm hoping the bite picks up some. Jackson. Oh, a little speckled trout. I think there's trout out here blowing up. There's a whole bunch right over here. That's a decent little speck right there. There's Spanish blowing up all over out here right now. There's dolphins moving in on them. Yeah, that's Spanish mackerel. Ugh. I think they're chasing glass minnows. I probably need to change my presentation. Need to catch him before the dolphins show up. Dolphins are moving in. There he is. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They're chasing glass minnows. Yep, that's a little Spanish. Oh, it's a little Spanish. They're fun to catch. The bigger ones are actually pretty decent to eat. There's Spanish thrashing all over out here. See if we can catch another one before the dolphins move in all. Well, the dolphins pushed through and annihilated them. That didn't last very long. Well, guys, we made it back to the other side. Not bad for a quick little trip. One thing I would like to try is fishing on the inside. I'll bet you when the tide pushes in, a lot of fish collect on the inside of here and it's a lot calmer. I'll have to give that a shot next time. I oh, appreciate it, man. I'm a small channel, so I don't run into that a whole lot. Oh, yeah, no, no. That's exactly what it is. 
yeah it's just pvc and i uh heated it up oh, that's cool. inserted it and it'll mold to the to the form and then you can bevel the edges man that's a whole lot better well they don't break i've had kings and everything pull on them they, really? they won't break I'm not doing any luck today oh, i caught a few flounder there was some spanish busting out in the bay uh then a big red we uh we got two flounder in here and he's caught two big old black drum oh there's this place is loaded with black drum i didn't i hadn't caught one like that big up until now yeah i've been seeing there's them. a big oyster bed right here and there you can usually see them tailing yeah there, there was a like a room of a tail that popped out the water early this morning yeah oh yeah I mean, it's funny seeing you because I mean, we were just talking about your channel we were talking about good youtube channels and talking about you well good man i appreciate it yeah. yeah i enjoy making the videos i usually just do it for family and friends but yeah you live if, it, around here? if it grows it grows uh, i'm gonna be moving here in about three weeks moving to corpus christi texas okay. yeah i'm cool. i'm active duty so okay. i'm gonna be uh relocating here pretty soon yeah, but I'll keep fishing out there and making videos. I've heard it's really good out there. Fishing out there. You got a motor on that thing? Uh, I do normally. I don't. I didn't run it because yesterday I was doing a, like a live bait uh, video, and I'll probably post that today actually. So I loaded this thing down with crates and traps and yeah. But uh, yeah, I usually run a motor. It saves a lot of energy. <laughs> I went all the way down to the mouth of Cassat and back and uh. That far? I'm, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit today. <laughs> well, man, nice to meet you. Sounds good. We'll keep on your channel when you go. Cool, man. Well, good luck, y'all. Not a bad day on the water, especially for a nep tide. We definitely could have slowed things down a little bit, too. We probably would have picked up a couple more fish. But we're out here just exploring, having a good time, checking out the new jetties. I definitely think this place is going to be hot. Especially when these rocks start to get a little more age on them, start to build up some barnacles and some oysters. More and more bait fish is going to collect around the base. But we had a fun day on the water. We're going to head back to the launch. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time.